So today we're going to talk just quickly about um, the major offenders of the uh, of the upright action for squeaking. So there's really three main areas that we lubricate, and there there's the sustain pedal right here. So I'm going to go through and and lubricate this one. Just make sure that everything. Um, is getting done um, my way because I like things done my way. There are other, I'm sure, ways, plenty of ways to lubricate different people, lubricate different things, but uh, I've had good luck with doing it this way over the years. So uh, the, first, the first area that we're going to lubricate, the most common culprit in the action of squeaks is this little hanger. Well, it looks like somebody, there's kind of a greasy lubricant something on there, but it's old. I can feel it in there, okay? So there's a little bushing in that uh, little slot. So, so what this pivots on, if you can't see it is, it, is it just pivots on a little hook like that. And inside that hole there, it's bushed by, by felt, and so we're going to saturate that really well with um, Protec. Okay, so this is the stuff to use. I've used a number of other things and most things seem to work pretty well like um, like the uh, the spray. What's that spray called? Prolube or uh, McLube. Dry lube. Dry lube, yeah. It's a, I think it's an acetone carrier or something, and then it has some Teflon in there that, that actually does lubrication. So this, this stuff, I, I, just, I just seem to have had the best luck with. So we're going to saturate the felt with this, with Protec, in order to um, essentially make that, that felt act as its own reservoir for lubricant. So probably, if, if there's a squeak on the action, that you can tell is not in the pedal, right? You're trying the pedal and you hear squeak, but it's, you can tell it's not in the pedal, it's somewhere in the action. I would say, I would say probably 90% of the time it's in one of these uh, little hanger things. So I'm just gonna put it right up to the felt and kind of give it like some squeezes until it just kind of comes out and if you this this stuff if you get it all over the action it doesn't matter it doesn't do anything anything negative okay can everybody see okay what I'm doing So um, with this stuff, if you totally overdo it, that's just fine. Kind of go in there and just kind of squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it until it seems to be saturated. And I'm trying to I'm trying to get the tip of the needle in the felt, kind of buried in the felt. My thinking, I, I think when you have it kind of buried in the felt slightly, that it sort of gets the lubricant in there and it like, and then it wicks through the felt. That's my theory of what's happening. Because it seems to kind of disappear. And then when it starts to leak out, that's kind of my signal to stop because it, it's totally saturated. Okay. So that's the, uh, that's the worst culprit on squeaks, but then there are two other areas that are relatively common. And it looks like this one has been done, but I'm gonna do it again. And that is with Teflon powder. This area under here, where the damper lever meets the, uh, the sustain, that, that lifter rod, that's one and then also where it meets the spoon. 
Okay. So when I do this, I hold four or five of them back and just kind of work the Teflon in there. When we do rebuilds, of course, we're polishing this. We're taking this rod out, right, Victoria? Polishing it, cleaning that up. And that also seems to help a lot with this air, quieting this area. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. That's great. And for some of the, some of you, I realize this is um, a review, but for other people, this is um, totally new. I'll try and get Teflon in there. You see, that's a this is a base. This particular piano has a base sustain, which is a stain pedal that only lifts the base. So that's that's this rod here. So it only lifts the base. Whereas this one lifts all of them, and it, and we've got a potential squeak right there. So, so I was sure to get plenty of Teflon in there. And I've done hundreds of these in in homes as well. Do you um, like vacuum out the excess right around or just leave it? Just leave it. And then the final culprit of common squeaks is on the other side. So in the in the damp reliever itself, everybody familiar with the where the spring connects with the damp reliever? Okay. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah, perfect. Smart. This connection right here is actually fairly common to uh, squeak. So to get that, I, I prefer it when it has felt in there like that piano does. This one is just just wood on directly on the spring, which I think tends to squeak a little bit more. But nonetheless, I'm going to put a few drops of, uh, of CLP on the uh, on each spring. Um, part of it is excess. Actually, I actually prefer the Teflon powder if I can. But you can't always get into spaces very easily in order to get the Teflon in there. Whereas this, obviously, you can get anywhere.
So if you can, if you can really work the Teflon powder into felt, for example, or cloth, like put it on and then put it on again, it, it uh, felt in cloth, you know how it absorbs glue, mm -hmm. you know, to the point where if you just put one layer of glue on, it won't actually stick a lot of times. My th theory is that it does that with Teflon powder as well, that if you just put one layer on, it's just, you know, it like sucks it in there. I think it helps, but so I like to really work it in to the point where, where the Teflon powder is totally saturated in the, in the felt or cloth. So trap work, when, when rebuilding trap work, I want Teflon everywhere. 